Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com for sparkling wines. Uh, three countries, uh, let's just dig in. First one I've got is from Portugal and it's Luis Pato's uh, Maria Gomez Sparkling and um, it says on the, the label Metodo Antigo uh, and it says it's only done one fermentation. Does that mean it's done one fermentation in this bottle um, which would have, would have produced the, the fizz to start with and, um, and then they whipped a cork out and uh, topped it up with wine? I'm not sure. I'll see if I can find somewhere that, that I can direct you to exactly how they've done it but um, uh, it's um, as they used to do it. Metodo Antigo. Uh, let's see what the wine's like. Well, it's got this um, slightly um, almost um, floral, gingery, uh, creamy character uh, when you when you smell it. Um, the, it doesn't smell like it's going to be immensely fruity, but it smells like it's going to be interesting. Let's taste it. Yes, and there's a, a rich. Um, Oh, as if someone has said to me that there's a, there's a dollop of Gewürztraminer in there because it's got these rose petals, this ginger character, soft, creamy, uh, ever so slightly nutty, um, fruit backward. Uh, if there is, if there is fruit there, it's maybe on the uh, uh, the cooked apple side. You know, if you if you grate uh, Bramley apples and then uh, put them in a pie, it's that type of um, that that type of apple. It's interesting. And not great, not hugely complex, but um, um, war, wine for a warm day. Let's see whether wine number two is wine for a warm day. This is Ombriel uh, from England. Whereabouts in England? South Down, overlooking the South Downs National Park. And uh, Champagne grapes, uh, but uh, so Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier. Uh, it's non-vintage, so I'm not sure whether there is uh, mostly from one vintage and or all from one vintage. But uh, anyway, let's try it. Well, it's I don't know if you can see it's 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 a rather frothy wine and it's uh, it it's, it it, um, it 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 feels frothy. It smells like it's going to be a bit frothy and simple. It's just like bubbling up and going me 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 me. Um, there's um, a uh, yeah, there's some some apple there. There's some red fruit uh, characters too. Um, it doesn't smell uh, like it's had heaps of aging on leaves or anything. It's not got like toasty richness, but um, it smells okay. And it is okay. I mean, I. I, I miss a little bit of um, uh, aged class, but I like its youthful exuberance and I like its um, juicy, frothy, uh, friendly nature. Um, uh, the finish I'm left with uh, speaks of a cool climate. There's, there's that slightly hard, apple acidity and they've tried to soften that out with a little bit of sugar um, and they've done it reasonably, but... Um, if you don't like um, wines with that touch of acidity, then English wines probably aren't for you. It's it's okay. Let's get on to champagne. Uh, two champagnes, uh, two rosé champagne, non-vintage. First one is Canard du Chien, Brut Rosé, authentic, authentic rosé. Uh, as opposed to what, you think? Oh well, hopefully they're all authentic, but let's try this one. Well, this smells a bit flat. Um, I can't say it's got freshness and I can't say it's got richness. It feels... Flat. And it tastes a bit the same too. It's it's okay, um, but um, there's not really enough of anything of any redeeming quality for me to make me want to uh, put that anywhere near my mouth again. It's it's okay. Um, let's see if we get uh, better on wine number four, which is uh, Champagne Tieno Brut Rosé. Uh, again, non vintage. Let's give this one a whirl. And this smells at once richer and fresher. Uh, so it's got red fruit, it's got uh, apples fresh and cooked, um, and it's got a bit of citrus perkiness. Um, it smells, and yeah, there may be a little bit of breadiness about it too. And it's strange, it's not, it's not breadiness, it's, um, it's almost more like meringue. Um, and uh, so that, that when meringue goes, that slightly um, uh, caramelised character. So, and it's got that touch of sweetness, but a bit of egginess in there too. Um, I like that. Um, probably my favourite of the four. Um, and um, quite classy wine. And it's interesting, I just think about the finish of that compared with the finish of the Ombriel. Um, they're both, I think they're both 12% alcohol, but here feels like there's just that lower acidity, 
and um, I don't know whether they there, there is what the difference is in the sugar that the dosage that they've added to counterbalance that uh, uh, that acidity. But here it feels like that it's a richer wine, so they are not left with a starkness on the finish that maybe I was uh, a touch with the ombrelle. Nice wine that, um, and the Maria Gomez was interesting, and the ombrelle was okay. The Canada Duchenne, well, maybe let's move on. Hey, see you soon.